at 10 o'clock, we're off air. And then Matt Tebbett takes over in the Saturday kitchen, cooking up all sorts of delights. I'm excited about your programme today. What are you got on? Morning. What do you mean today? You should be always be excited about our show. Uh, good morning, guys. Our special guest today is Angela Scanlon. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? Good. I'm all right, thanks. It's a bit giddy this morning, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just nice to be out. It's going to be a wild one. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, we'll talk about your show uh, yes. a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. uh, for now, let's talk about heaven and hell. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. So my heaven, I love mushrooms. Do you? I do, yeah. Um, so much so you drink in the morning. I drink it in the morning, yeah. yeah. I know, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <weird. laughs> A little bit, but also delicious. <laughs> uh, spinach, I like. Yeah. And um, scallops. Okay. My fave. And then my hell, boiled, anything boiled, really, except tea. Uh, but, right. <laughs> um, meat, boiled meat, boiled vegetables. I mean, whoever okay. thought broccoli boiled was a good idea. Anything boiled in a big pot. Stew is hideous. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, two perfect people are cooking today. Tom, perfect Tom Parker Bowles, how are you? I'm all right, thanks, Matt. Yeah, good. Have you, have you got some food for us? Well, I thought I'd cook something a little bit. Um, Lapsam Souchon smoked pork ribs. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Olya Hercules, how are you? Hello, very good, thank oh. you. Sorry, I can barely see you behind Tom. <laughs> I'm taking, up all, hey! taking all the space in the studio. <laughs> uh, what have you got for us, Olya? I've got grilled courgettes and peppers with a South Ukrainian dill, tarragon and lemon thyme dressing. Very and nice. a miseria salad. We'll talk about that later, cucumbers. Yeah. And a really interesting way to cook uh, barbecue halloumi or grill. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Look forward to that. Summer food. Uh, Ollie from home, British Wine Week. Tell us about that, kid. Uh, as usual, it's down to you guys at home to decide what Angela gets to eat at the end of the show. Go to the website for voting details and we'll see you at 10. <laughs> Run out of breath there. Matt, I have a question. You do look out of breath there. Um, I have a question for Angela. Um, I'm yeah. kind of with her on the boiled food thing because I think sometimes when you boil food, it can just lose all its taste. What about boiled eggs? Not into boiled eggs. They stink. <laughs> just, really? Just boiled everything? They stink. Boiled eggs. Like, OK, if you put them in a lunchbox, that is... <laughs> have you but ever is, done that? Yeah, it's that there is the option lunch. of just having the egg and eating it as soon as it's been cooked and it doesn't yeah, stink. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it doesn't stack up with my theory of everything boiled is awful. So, you know, I'm going to yeah. stick with lunchbox hell. Yeah, join us for more boiled chat later. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. Have a good one. <laughs> See you later. Let the boiling begin. <laughs> Start boiling now. Um, plenty more coming up. We'll see you in shortly. Thrilling cricket, this. Uh, but we're ready to kickstart your day with a feast of fantastic food. This is Added Kitchen Live. Welcome to the show. Serving up culinary delights this week are Tom Parker Bowles and Olia Hercules, and keeping us refreshed throughout the day, it's Ollie Smith. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Good morning. Hey, Matt. Good morning. Yeah, nice to see you. Uh, now, our special guest today is a TV and radio presenter whose latest BBC show helps people transform <laughs> homes uh, using virtual reality. I Ooh, love that. that. Uh, please welcome Angela Scanlon. <laughs> virtual reality. Ooh. Yeah, fancy. It is fancy. Futuristic. I watch it. And it's, <laughs> yeah. I like when you put those things on there. Right? Yeah, they're really sweaty, though. <laughs> nice. Yeah, to wear in actual real life. But, yeah, they're yeah. fantastic. It's good, though. It's, a good, it's good to see those. Sorts yeah. Of things, right? Yeah, well, also it means that you just, you know, there's less risk. You can actually imagine. Move things around yeah. and stuff like that. My son's yeah. got them and we play Star Wars on them. Oh, don't. Yeah. Well, it's a slightly it's different. And then you smash amazing. into walls and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Do you have that? Does that happen? On mm, it happens quite a bit. Or they shimmy into, yeah, into walls. They're like facing the opposite direction <laughs> to each other. They're feeling around. So there's yeah. a lot of editing. Quite fun. On. There's like, yeah, a bit of tweaking, you know, <laughs> with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see what's on the menu today. Tom, you're up first. What you got? Lapsang Souchon smoked pork ribs. Ooh. Smoke, and you don't need to have a barbecue. Very mm -hmm. nice, very nice. And what's what's that going? You've got a bit of. Bak choy it has a bak choy and has wonderful sauce. It's for the flavour and smoke and spice and loveliness. There you go. Now you've warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Olya, what have you got? Uh, representing Ukraine, as always, so I've got grilled courgettes with red peppers and a tarragon, lemon thyme and dill dressing and a salad called miseria, which is a cucumber salad. Yeah. And a really good way to grill halloumi. Uh, Great I'm barbecue intrigued. tip. This is, this is misery salad. I will tell you all about it in a bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you like the sound of those? Misery salad, yeah. yes, so, but the, re the rest. 
absolutely lovely. <laughs> Halloumi, I'm obsessed by. And sometimes when I fry it, it get, I mean, it does get chewy quite quickly. My daughter mm. calls it faloumi. Okay. <laughs> it's her favourite. So How I'm in. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, how would you go on this week with the drinks? Exactly. And then you have the sugar for a bit of sweetness. Nice. And then you have the rice. Now, the rice is cooked. And this is, there's a reason why, okay. because Ooh. it's full of moisture and it spreads that flavour all it's hard. around. You see, look at that. Yeah, you. You know, not just, it's all, you know, okay. kitchen chemistry and all that, so let's get the heat right up. Right. So, you, um, first and foremost, we know you as a, as a writer, you work various publications. You've written, how many books have you written now? Six. Eight, actually. Eight books. Yeah, all of them. None of them, trub none of them troubling J.K. Rowling in the, in the charts. Right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we go. So this has basically been brought to the boil, and then you add the water and you yep. add your ribs. And it is so important to love your butcher for these. Go to the butcher, don't mm. go to the supermarket. OK. Yeah. Um, butchers yeah. are great. And they kept us going during lockdown, as did supermarkets, I suppose, in a different way, but anyway. Um, <laughs> right, so that is that out of the way. Okay. It's just chef. another seal, isn't it, basically? Yes, it is. It is Stop indeed. the moisture escape. It is. Anyway, what we have here is we have our lovely ribs. And, you know, ten minutes, you're getting all that smoke. You don't want to over smoke, you don't want to overdo it at all. So... Um, so, in terms of restaurants, I mean, what was the thing you really missed about...? I just missed the whole thing of restaurants, is sitting down, eating and drinking together. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were the, one of the top things to nick from restaurants. So yes, I, I, had, I have quite a collection still, you know, such <laughs> all that. Right, now, sorry, Ollie. So, Ollie is... We're, we're all being kept apart. Obviously, this is the way it goes. Ollie is <laughs> going to put it into the oven for... They go in about 2.30 for about 10 minutes. You want... Right. Pork ribs. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Pork ribs. Try and those. Cookies. Right, Ollie, I recognise this. We had a very. It's Tom, these are delicious. They are they a few? few? Delicious. They're even Gorgeous. better than the ones in rehearsal, actually. Are they? <laughs> well, hey. Yeah, really nice, really <laughs> sticky glaze. How's that going down? Happy? <laughs> God, tell us! <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> Olivia, remind us what you're doing in a bit. Um, I'm making grilled courgettes with a herbaceous uh, dressing yeah. and a cucumber salad and some halloumi and pita bread. Is Barbecue salad. vibes. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget to keep sending Got some crabs, some prawns, a uh, bit of cod uh, that you salt up just to sort of firm it up for about sort of half an hour before. It's their home and oftentimes you know, they will have felt like they haven't been doing right by their kids, okay. by their, you know, family generally. It's like, a lot to put on yourself. It's an awful lot to put on yourself. And I do think sometimes, you know, and maybe now more than ever, we're kind of in touch with how when a house works, it, it, it's a gift. And when it doesn't, it's an absolute hell. You know, we... Clam juice. Uh, just make... There's always some grit in clams. So if you do it gently, you'll see. See that stuff there? Really don't want to put that in. Uh, if you've got, a, like, a J-cloth... Something like that, bit of muslin, you could put that in the sieve and then that, none of that will go in. Like to do and then create a space that facilitates that for your family or for, for you as an individual, it's just, you know, massively helpful for mental health and well-being and everything. Oh, 100%. So. Like, we got rid of our lawn and put a bed in and oh. now I'm growing things. They're really easy as well. Like, we've got a 17-month-old baby, oh. so it's like, you know, I don't have masses of time, but you stick some chard in, you yep. stick some herbs in, and, you know, they're, they're doing it themselves, but... Sometimes when I have time, I go in and I do a little bit of, you know, yeah. putting plants in or whatever, or like, to, you know, just even collecting all of the little herbs and it just you makes you feel good. It really does. And also, I think there's something about when you grow things and then you're, you're eating them. It's quite you grow like... spinach, right? I do grow spinach, yeah. Really didn't like it. Mm. Pale rosé. That me. is. There you go. <laughs> we'll find a one. Yeah, find me a good one. Uh, yeah. Have you had a chance to try that, anyone? It's divine. Correct. Absolutely. What will I be making for Angela at the end of the show? Will it be a... It's harshness a little bit. It's a really but... nice dressing, this. Yes. I tried it in rehearsal. Um, what, what's the name of it? And a bit of honey. It's Lok, uh, it, where I come from, and it's called Salamur uh, by the Moldovan border as well. So it's got different names. OK. And all okay. over the UK. So oh, really? Are you doing my food? These, these pop ups? Is that uh, right? Yeah, I'm doing one um, with At Home Farm, kind of just outside London on the 14th of July. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing another one in Bristol with this beautiful restaurant called. Uh, called Root. Oh, it's a great restaurant. Mm. Yeah. It's an amazing restaurant. So we're doing like a collaboration, and that's on the 2nd of August. Here, the halloumi is looking great. 
and now I'm going to slice it. And you're still doing the, uh, the online cookery classes? I'm still doing the online cookery classes, yes, until, you know, I take some time off in August. But mm -hmm. yeah, come and join me. There's dumplings, there's like uh, Ossetian pies, which I've cooked on this program before. This uh, dressing with the tarragon and lemon thyme, mushroom ceviche. You cook the mushrooms, you dress the... Uh, the mushrooms with this dressing and you leave them for a bit and it's just the most delicious thing. Oh, wow. I highly recommend it. I but also, you know the way raw you... Raw mushrooms. Oh, well, I love raw yeah, mushrooms. It's just a bit nutmeg. of French dressing. Mm. Love it. Nutmeg here. Okay, so just a little bit of nutmeg on here and it's like an Stop unusual drifting thing. Up. We got there. So this is a herbaceous courgette and peppers, the beautiful, not at all, miseria salad uh, <laughs> and uh, grilled halloumi and pizza breads. Fantastic one from abroad so is it worth yeah, it? yeah and, and you're right to bring it up because it's not for every day maybe oh. what do you what do you guys think about this I think it's a magnificent wine because a lot of the time I'm not being rude about English wine obviously <laughs> but it's for a magnificent uh, wine it's delicious it's isn't it this is delicious oh thank you the really, courgette really and the dressing is amazing good, isn't it? it's not miserable at all and not a bit of misery on the face <laughs> see they were wrong <laughs> those landowners <laughs> it's a great combination <laughs> really really nice I don't have one but I love the look of it okay let's have a look at after Ooh. I see, I'm not sure, I... Sean. I'm not sure. Don't say that, that. No, it's I know you spent a lot of money, Sean, but I, t I liked your before kitchen. So did I, but I mean, I like, the, I like the walk through door window mm. things. Yeah. I presume they are. A little bifold you hurt yourself. And mushrooms and spinach. Stuff oh. like that. Or it could be stewy lamb. <laughs> what do you think you got? You're really selling it. I'll have stewy lamb, please. <laughs> um, I feel like I got the mushrooms on toast. Yeah. That's I do. Pretty confident. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty confident. <laughs> I'm being optimistic. Okay, 53% of people. It's very that close. That was close. So, a lot of people voted. Went for heaven. Yay! Yay! Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, indeed. Do there's yeah, like cordyceps that's... and reishi and lion's mane, as I mentioned before, but in powdered form. In powder form. Yeah. My sister loves those in the morning. Chaga mushroom as well. So like really good for focus. Really good for reishi mushrooms. Very good for sleep. Um, lovely cup of tea. A nice chat with Tom this morning. Misery salad this morning. It can be smaller <laughs> things, you know, that you um, yeah that you have control over, and it really does shift because I think. There's so much comparison, and obviously that's always been a thing. Okay. But with social media, it's very easy to look around, and no matter what. I'm you not have, grateful for social media. Okay. Actually, kind of coming back to the moment and thinking about the little things that are really the most significant things. I'm so grateful uh, you are, for that. You are. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. The fish situation and this is just oof. I mean, it's really big. Hashtag it's... blessed, man. It's <laughs> blessed. He loves that. It's really. <laughs> I, oh, oh my goodness. Um, me. Right, it's wow. been at least 10 minutes since Tom's had a drink. Ollie, You're looking at me quick. Well, <laughs> take it home oh and uh, send me a, an email. Okay. Uh, that's all for us today on Saturday Kitchen Live. Uh, thanks to Tom, Ollie, Ollie, and of course, Angela. Mm. All the recipes from the studio are on the website, bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. Now I've got more best bites for you. Rick Stein zooming in live with Sabrina Geyer, Shivy Ramata, and Jack Savar.